Okay, I want to share with you something called a Klondike miracle. And actually, this has never been witnessed before. So I thought we would get this on film uh, because I don't think anyone would believe me if I told them that it happened and I didn't have some kind of record. Now, I actually wish you were here because I would have you make all of these important randomization choices so that you would know, oh, okay, you made them. I in no way influenced you in those decisions. But since you're not here, we're going to have to resort to using a, a six-sided die to help us randomize these cards and make these important decisions. Um, so how this will work is uh, we will have occasion to stack either a left pile on top of a right or right on top of a left. So we'll leave that to chance. So we'll roll the die. And if it comes out to be an even value, then we'll stack the left pile on top of the right. If it's odd valued, we'll stack the right on top of the left. OK, uh, we will also need to um, at different points remove um, either the top card or the bottom card of a packet. And so we'll leave that to chance as well. So. If the die comes up an even value, then we'll remove the top card. If it comes up an odd value, then we'll remove the bottom card. Okay. Now, the other randomization, which is essential to really having people believe that these cards are beyond the knowledge of any mortal, is the number of left-right shuffles that we'll do. We'll do a left-right, left-right. And then once we've done that, we have to decide, okay, should we stack left on right or right on left? Well, as mentioned up here, we'll have the die decide that for us. It'll be completely decided by chance. And then once we have finished a whole string possibly of LR shuffles where the stacking is just random, we'll even do one more important randomization step. And that will consist of dealing out half the cards putting the rest over here as a second pile, and then allowing the die to tell us, okay, how should we stack those, left on right or right on left? Okay, so that is what we're going to do, and, and I hope that this will convince people that no one could have possibly known, number one, the outcome of the die rolls ahead of time, and consequently, they could not possibly know the order of the cards. Even if you had some ideas to how these are ordered, you would not be able to know ahead of time what's going to happen with those cards, seeing that we're employing this randomization element. Okay, well, let's start with uh, you know randomizing these. So here we go, two. So we got two. So what that means is I'm going to deal out um, the cards twice, a left, right, left, right. And for each of those, we'll have to roll the die a second time to decide, uh, should we stack left on right or right on left? Okay, so here is the first LR shuffle. Okay, so we're at this situation where we need to know, okay, how should we stack these? So I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's still on the screen. Uh, six. Six is even. Oh, so we stack left on right. Very good. And now this is the second LR shuffle. Very good. Uh, how should we stack these? Uh, I don't know. Oh, one. One is odd. So we would stack right on left. Okay, very good. And then, as mentioned here, we do need to just add one more random element that's just going to scramble these cards. Because if you think about it, we've been doing this left, right, left, right, left, right. Well, with this final, final randomization element, it's going to be different. What we're going to do is we're going to deal out half the cards. What is that? Five, six, and then drop the others as they sit in our hand as a second pile. Now, we need to know how to stack these. Five. Five is odd. So odd, uh, looks like we go right on left. Excellent. Okay, wow. Uh, we've mixed those to a fair degree, completely decided by the outcome of this random event. Um, so what we need to do now is we're going to either take off the top card or the bottom, and we're going to leave that to chance alone, actually. So five. So five says remove the bottom card. There you go. In fact, we're going to put it face up. OK, 
Okay, so it looks like it's a four. Okay, well, we call this a Klondike miracle for a purpose, but the fact is we haven't even used the Klondike shuffle even once. Well, it's because the Klondike shuffle does the most important action. Because after all of the randomization is done, and after we've chosen either the top or the bottom card to set down, the Klondike shuffle has to do the heavy lifting of accomplishing the impossible. So if you're familiar with the Klondike shuffle, uh, this won't be new to you, but for those who have never seen it before, what it consists of is you take the bottom card and the top card together as one, and you just set them on the table. Then you take the top, a bottom and top card together as one, set those on top of the others, the bottom and top together as one, and so forth. Okay, and now what that will mean, because we have an odd number of cards here, there'll be one left. Okay, now what we're hoping is the Klondike Shuffle has done its job. We're hoping that something really surprising has happened here. Let's see if that's true. Oh boy, I would say that's surprising, wouldn't you? Now, it could be that all of these are fours, right, or something funny, but let's push ahead and we'll see. Okay, so now we really should randomize these again, right? Um, so let's go ahead and you know repeat our random, sorry, repeat our randomization. Oh, no, not six. <laughs> okay, so we have to do six, and I, and I may want to keep track of these because uh, that's a lot of shuffles, and I'll lose track of where I am. I was hoping for a lower number, but you probably don't need to see 9 o'clock. I don't even know what that was. Probably an appointment I missed this morning. Okay, so left on right or right on left? Five. Ooh, we do right on left. There you go. One. <laughs> now, I want you to think about this. Now, if you believe that I could control, I could roll a six, you know, then maybe I could influence things. Well, as you'll see here, I, I would not want to roll a six. It's too much work. Um, but think about all of the mixing that's going on here. So I've, uh, we're on to our second LR shuffle, right? Um, so I need to decide left on right, right on left. Looks like it's right on left. Very good. That's the second one. This is going to kill me. Most of you are going to fast forward the video just about now, and I would if I were you. Uh, left on right, right on, ah, I'm sorry, left on right, right on left. Why do you keep, get, keep getting five? Okay, so it would go like that. Okay, we're halfway there. Uh, I apologize that we were just so unlucky to get such a high number, but I left it to chance, and that's what happened, six. Six is even, so we would stack left on right. Whew. Two more. Okay, pick these up. Without dropping them. Okay, great. Um, that went off the, you guys didn't see it. Oh, it's the same, it was a four off the camera view anyway, but okay, that's even. So we stack left on right, there we go. One more, one more, okay, great, one more. So, um, okay, how should we stack them? Six, uh, left on right, there we go. And if you remember, every series of LR shuffles has to be, uh, uh, has to be followed by one more randomization, namely, I deal out half the cards, two, and now we leave it to chance alone. Six is even. So I do left on right. And finally, okay, should we choose the top or the bottom? Well, we leave it to chance. Four, what's four? It's uh, even. So we remove the top. Okay, there's the top. Oh boy, aren't you feeling sorry for the Klondike shuffle about now? because it certainly could not have kept track, well, maybe it does, it's such a miraculous shuffle, of what it needs to do 
to please us here. Oh, I can't believe it. You are the most miraculous shuffle ever. Um, okay, how many LR shuffles this time? One, yes. Sorry, I am very happy. Okay, left on right, right on left. Four, uh, left on right, excellent. And then we have to follow it up with this other one um, to call it complete and sufficiently mixed. Uh, two is even, so we would stack left on right. And now, do we remove the top or do we remove the bottom? Well, we leave it to chance to decide that four. Um, well, four is right there. We will remove the top. There you go. Oh, Klondike baby, can you do your job? Let's see. Top, the bottom, top and bottom, top and bottom, top and bottom. Can you do your job? Is that a two? Yes! Sorry, it is. Three for six. Okay, let's continue. Five. Oh, no, not five. Why five, uh, six, left on right. And sorry about that, but five's just too big of a number for my little brain. So I'm going to have to keep track of, okay, I've done one. Pen, stay over there. Sorry about that. Um, okay, let's do another one. Two, left on right. Excellent. Why do I do five? It's ridiculous. Okay, uh, three. Three is odd, so we do right on left. Excellent. Okay, uh, two more. Ah. Okay, left on right, right on left. Uh, let's see, that's, I do left on right. Ah, sorry about that. <sighs> One more. Sorry, I just showed you all the cards. I showed me the card, so I have to mix them, I guess. Uh, okay, left on right, right on left. So one, let's see, right on left, right? Okay, and then we have to follow it up with this final mixing choice. And so, how should we stack those? Five, uh, right on left. Okay, now, do we take the top? Or do we take the bottom? Let's see. What does the universe tell us? Six. Six is right there. Remove the top. Okay. I have removed the top. Oh, Klondike, please do your job. Top and bottom. Take the top and bottom. Oh, there's only one left. Yes! Oh, sorry. That probably broke the, probably broke the microphone there. I, I'm sorry that I keep sh I keep picking up these cards and showing them to the universe. I actually didn't look at them, but I could tell that they're face up. Ah, that's just stupidity. Okay, uh, can you see? No, you can't see that. Try again. You've got to be kidding me. No. No. <laughs> Talk about bad luck. I've got to do it five times. Four, you got four twice, there you go. Left on right, one. You can tell I'm not happy about doing five of these. Left on right, one, Let's see why I do right. Okay, very good. <sighs> Sorry, two. How should we stack? Five, uh, right on left, three, Oh man, da, da. how should we stack these six? Left and right, four. I should bring in some elevator music so we don't go crazy. How should we stack? Five, uh, let's see, five's here, right? I stack right on left. Okay, that's the fifth shuffle. <laughs> um, okay, but unfortunately we still have one more 50% deal. Okay, so how should we stack one, right on left, okay? And then finally, should we take this one or the bottom? It's completely left to the powers of the universe. 
five. We take the bottom. Excellent. There's the bottom. Klondike, baby. Can you do it? Oh, a fifth time. Well, there's only three cards. So when I do the top and bottom, you get that. So I'm just hoping, I'm just hoping this is a three. Yes! Yes, yes! So I'm hoping this better be matching. It is indeed. Okay, you have seen the great one, the Klondike Shuffle do its job, accomplish the impossible. How in the world can that shuffle accomplish such an outcome? How in the world, when all of these choices are be, being determined by random events that none of us, you, me, or Albert Einstein could have anticipated and then those outcomes determine the actions and the mixing of these silly cards. And that wondrous Klondike shuffle at the end is the one that's actually bringing to the top a single card, which needs to match the one that was randomly taken from either the top or the bottom. That is indeed a flippin' miracle so anyway i hope you enjoy that i do now have it on record uh this is all uh, cut with no editing well i might edit out my stutters i guess things like that <laughs> but it was all one continuous take so except for editing out um, slips and and stutters and things like that what you see is the real thing here okay well my students who have been studying hidden structures, you have the tools to figure this out. We have studied all of the mathematical properties needed to justify and prove that this thing will always, always work. Independent of the outcome of these random events. So I leave that as an exercise for you to, to fill in the details. How in heaven's name can we use the mappings that you've studied to actually accomplish the seemingly impossible here?